Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. Well, my good buddy, One to Birdman, has tagged me for what five things would you bring in a zombie apocalypse? And I uh, gotta tell you, it was a little while ago, another good buddy of mine, Zippo Varga, had tagged me for what five things would you bring in a SHTF situation. And, uh, well, I got to thinking about that. I, actually, I, I forgot to make a video for that because I intended to make one. Uh, and I, I thought, well, you know, they're very similar. And uh, weapons choices, firearms choices especially, are going to be very difficult. And I laid some of my guns out uh, just to give you an example of, uh, you know, the choices that you have to make. I mean, whether you talk about the very excellent um, SIG 556 all the way to the left there it's a great gun or the para ordnance TTR I tell you what I really like that gun here's a gun that I'm not sure that I've had out before so I thought I would put it out this is a N50 Beowulf it's an AR and it has a 24 inch barrel man just look at that bore wow powerful gun and another great AR this is from Sabre Defense and that's the competition deluxe and of course then you would have a look at that right there that's a Krebs custom AK and next to that that's an LWRC and uh, that's in 6.8 SPC great round and along with a, an AR I could bring some uppers. There's a 223 upper and a 22 long rifle upper. How about this gun right here? This is a JP Enterprises Custom uh, 308. And man, that is really a sharp shooting rifle. How about shotguns? Everybody knows that shotguns are excellent weapons for uh, zombies. But what bones would you take with you? Uh, all the way on the right, that's a uh, Benelli Super Black Eagle. And that has a 24 inch rifled slug barrel on it. And right next to it is a, a vent rib barrel that I can put on there to add to the versatility. Or how about the Benelli M1 Super 90? That's just been a great shotgun for me. I really like it. But how could you not take the, Se the Sega 12 gauge? And that's a 20 round drum magazine right there. Man, that's bringing a lot of firepower. But man, how could you not take one of the two classics like the Remington 870 Magnum Police or the five, Mossberg 500? Well, how about pistol caliber carbines? I got this really nice Krebs Super V and that's in 45 ACP and with 30 round magazines. Wow, it's a that's an excellent firearm. Or how about the Beretta Storm? And that's a 9mm and as a matter of fact it's uh, configured to use uh, the magazines from a 92 FS. That's really nice. That's a 20 round magazine right there. And there's my other 50 Beowulf with a 16 inch barrel and the quad rail 4 in. Excellent gun. Hey and don't let's not forget about a, a really nice double barrel and there's a couple of double barrels right there one of them is a 10 gauge and the other one that's a 12 gauge with it and it's set up to shoot three and a half inch shells you can do a lot of damage with those well how about older military rifles I mean wow how could you not take one of them they they're battle proven and they're excellent firearms all the way to the right, that's an SKS, and that's a Russian manufactured one. And it was and they, uh, it was uh, manufactured by a company. I can't say the name of it. It starts with an I, has a Z in it. I think uh, folks, uh, Americans anyway, usually refer to it as an Izzy. But anyway, it's a great uh, SKS. And next to that, yeah, I have a Mosin Nagant. Bought that one years ago, and that's a Finnish. Uh, Army Mosin made by Seiko I think it's uh, 
the M28-30. I might be wrong about that. But anyway, it's a fine shooting rifle. And then you have the excellent British SMLE, the Lee Enfield 303. Man, that rifle's just been everywhere, hasn't it? And you know, I'm not going to traipse off after any zombies and not take my M1 Garand. That's a great rifle. But man, if you have a Thompson with a 50 round drum magazine, 50 rounds of 45 ACP, how could you leave that? Or maybe one of the excellent M1 carbines. And this one happens to have a uh, aftermarket folding stock. And it's semi-automatic, but it still has the M3 bolt. Nice gun. What about hunting rifles? Uh, to the far right there, that's a 300 Winchester short magnum. And that really will reach out and touch them. And next to that is another Seiko. That's a Seiko Finlight. And that's in 308, and that's just been a great rifle for me. And right next to that, wow, it's one of my favorite rifles. That happens to be a Sauer 202, and it's chambered in a 30 alt 6. And you can actually buy conversion barrels and actions to, uh, to change that out in the uh, calibers out in the field. A lot of versatility there. Next to that, well, that's a good old brown and BLR, and that's in 358 Winchester. There's a powerful round for you. And next to that is a good old Winchester, Model 94, except for that is chambered in 375 Winchester. Now that'll pop a hit on a zombie, I'm sure. And handguns. I know y'all seen me show lots of handguns on videos, but like my rifles, I can only lay out a few. What would you choose? Would you choose something like the excellent Beretta 92FS? And I've put an attachment on there that, that will hold a light, 20 round magazine. That's a great gun. And everybody knows that I have a, a, a fondness for the para ordnance night tack. And with the magazines that I've bought for it, that's 15 plus one rounds of 45 ACP. How about the uh, Springfield Armory XDM? And that's in 40 Smith & Wesson, and that's a 16 plus 1 capacity. Just like that HK USP Expert. Now, I added the jet funnel system to that. And what that basically allows me to do is use 16 round magazines. So that's 16 rounds of 40 Smith & Wesson right there. Out of capacity and then there's the Glocks I mean Glock makes a great gun right there's a Glock 17 and uh, there's a Glock 20 which everybody should know that that's more to my liking it's in 10 millimeter and when you buy these little plus two pa uh, butt plates for the magazines and that's 17 plus one rounds of 10 millimeter that's bring a lot of power to the fight Man, how could you not take a really good quality revolver? And uh, I got a 357 Magnum, and it uses uh, full moon clips, and it holds eight rounds. Or how about this other Smith & Wesson revolver here, which also uses full moon clips, and it's chambered in 45 ACP. Wow. Then there's cutlery. My gosh, knives, machetes, axes, tomahawks. Which ones would you choose? This uh, World War I Bolo? Or maybe a custom Bowie knife? Man, got a good selection of different kinds of machetes. That axe happens to be uh, a Wetterlings axe that was uh, reprofiled by Bark River. And it's a great little cutting tool. How about that really nice custom tomahawk there from uh, Devon at, at Two Hawks? How about this one right here? This is a tomahawk actually designed for combat. And the fellow that I got it carried it in Vietnam. Wow. How in the world would you choose? I'll tell you what. Five things. You can only take five things. 
well I just don't know what to do I guess I'll just have to load up these guns and all the rest of mine and just stay home alright folks well thanks for watching my video and always remember shoot straight on the range and in life thanks